Hey y'all, good evening. Come on in. Hope you're having a God blessed Friday evening, uh, Friday night rather, because it is after six o'clock. Um, I'm having a great day. The weather is very brisk, but uh, I'm glad it's Friday, y'all. I didn't work this week, didn't work last week or the week before, I don't plan on it, but I'm glad it's Friday. This has been a long week for some reason. I even lost a day and it still feels like it's long. But anyway, this is another day that we uh, have to call our prayer warriors out to pray. And hopefully you've already been praying all day long uh, since yesterday. The um, These new attacks on our military bases and things like that. We just have stuff to pray about all the time. That's why I just encourage you. I, I implore you just to pray without ceasing because... It seems like every day it escalates for something for us to pray about. And now um, we are just, I tell you, we're just in prayer because we, it's, there seems like there is turmoil in every aspect of life to the point where if we don't pray, what are we going to do? So I just encourage you to keep on praying. Uh, prayers go out to those families who are involved in any of the uh, the violence on the military bases and to be encouraged uh, our service men and women um, are put in precarious uh, situations throughout the world and then for them to have to endure things here right at home but things happen uh, we have no control over them the only control that we do have um, is to pray so I think that those of us who would please to just Continue to pray without ceasing for one another. And just pray our strength in each other because it, it wounds me every time I turn on the TV or the radio and hear something like that. It, it just wounds me deeply, but it calls me to prayer even deeper. So I just ask that you all would just continue to pray. And if any of you are listening, if you had any loved one that was in, involved in that situation, we pray even the more for you that you will uh, be comforted in knowing that even though these things happen, God is still in control. And for those who believe, know that, and you can rest in that. Uh, and, of course, we always keep our children prayed up. Uh, or even when we go into the workplace, we have to continue to pray. Even when the enemy attacks our bodies and our minds and our hearts and our spirit, we just have to continue to pray and pray and pray and pray. I can't say that enough. Um, when we started out, uh, on our quest to pray toward the beginning of the year, we were, we were praying. But now it's like every time I come on, there is a new bona fide situation, if you will, uh, to ask you all to pray about. So we just, again, I, I just can't say it enough. And my heart is just broken that uh, this, you know, my husband served 30 years in the military. So the military is very near and dear to my heart. My sons were in the military. I've got a grandson in the military right now. I have a nephew in the military right now. So uh, my heart is still very near. I worked on a military base for over 20 years. So I'm very close and near. I have a vested interest along with prayer to our military members. And I'm very, I, I, I take it very, uh, I guess, hard when something happens like that or to people in general. So. Just continue to pray for our military men and women, even if there's nothing going on. Just pray for those who are deployed in different areas throughout the world uh, that are not with their families, especially this time of the year. And we know when these things happen, our, our, our senses are heightened and, and, and our sensibilities and our feelings and we're missing our loved ones. So for these things to happen like this, the shootings and whatnot, it just adds to it. So. Uh, I'm on my soapbox about that, and, and I'm going to stay on it um, because I think that's what we need to do. We just need to come together even closer now um, and just continue to pray. So I uh, wasn't going to even come on this evening uh, to, to really wasn't gonna, you know, do a cooking demo because I'm not really cooking anything all that much today, but I knew that in light of what has happened on those two bases, uh, just to come on, give a little demo, give a little talk, uh, and to um, just say thank you all still for your your uh, prayers and for your encouragement. 
and for just standing in the gap with me for all the things that this world is going through. Okay, so love you guys. I'm gonna some go ahead. This this is gonna be a real. So don't blink, y'all, because this is gonna be a fast, furious, and quick one. Remember last night I cooked. Um, I think I've uploaded a video where I did the uh, the big plate of salad, and I did I had a, a rotisserie chicken. I split it in half, and I uh, fixed most of it for Kareem. Put some on my salad. Uh, the one I fixed for Kareem was barbecue sauce. So tonight I'm gonna. Uh, go ahead instead of freezing it i'm just gonna go ahead and do up the other half of that chicken i don't really feel like cooking anything tonight but since that chicken is already cooked and i know it's already it's good i'm just gonna do a um i'm gonna do i've done some seasoned rice i already got the rice done and so just cook some rice according to the recipe that's my little pan of rice I already cooked. This is about a cup and a half of rice that I'm going to, that you know, uncooked. And so I got it cooked and I seasoned it with a garlic powder and some seasoned salt. Now, this seasoned salt is by Freedom Shore. This is the military brand. This is what the commissary carries now. Okay, so I did this. And this is my, this is, again, this is for Kareem. I may taste it just to make sure it tastes good. But outside of that, I got a pot of vegetable soup. I'm still eating my chicken vegetable soup. That's what I want today. So anyway, I'm doing this dish so the Kareem will have a good hearty meal. So, one of the things I, you know I got to put onions in. So I'm going to go ahead and start sauteing my uh, onions in here. Just get them in there and get them going. Because what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to have these sauteed onions. And I'm going to make a lemon pepper sauce to go over this rice and chicken. And that's basically all there is going to be to it. I'm just going to season it up real good for him. And uh, he'll be able to enjoy it. There's just so many things you can do with chicken. And all I'm going to do with this chicken is just cut it. It's, you know, of course, the chicken, uh, half a chicken has four pieces to it. So I cut it into four pieces. And I may eat a little piece of the breast meat. I won't bother with the rice though so much. But again, this is mainly for Kareem. Um, hope y'all been out doing some shopping today. Or planning on going tomorrow. I tell you what, this cold weather, this seems like it's a different kind of cold almost to me. This cold weather, I don't know if it's because I've been sick, and I'm sure in part it is, but this cold weather this year, it's bone chilling, and it's not even. Um, I think the coldest being that I paid attention to was like 35 degrees. And funny, I'm here to tell you that was some cold weather. It's been down to like 32, I believe, but I wasn't out in it. So I just came in a while ago. I had to do a little errand, and it's like chilly out there. So yep, stay in if you don't have to be out in it, because I'm sure not. Now, tomorrow I do need to get out of here because I tell you what, it's like, what is this, the 6th of December? And I have not done my Christmas shopping. M most of it, especially for my boys, I'm going to put money in a car. But you know, you have to get them a little something because they're looking at me like about to cry if I don't have a gift wrapped on that tree. So I got to get something going on the tree. I'm thinking, um,. You know, some, um, the, the yogurt gift sets and socks and stuff like that. I haven't done that. That's my usual staple stuff that I always, um, purchase for the boys. I do have a couple of, uh, the yogurt gift sets. I picked those up. Cause somebody had them on sale, so when I'm out and about, that's what I do. So those are good, you know, just gift ideas just for the older guys. I give them that, wrap it up, and then put some money in a card. And we're good to go, and of course, we have lots of food to eat, so that's how we celebrate. And, of course, I still got little baby ones. I just don't like to spend a lot of money on toys. Never have liked it. My husband always did. But I will get those little ones some kind of a toy. And, of course, I like to buy clothes for them. So I still got to get out and do that. So I hope y'all are not as behind as I am, because, I mean, I'm way behind. Um... Some of the stuff I would order, I, I don't know. I don't like a lot of ordering. Now, there's two or three places now, like, because I, I love clothes. 
and I found out that uh, one of my favorite places, which is Chico's, I know what they have, so I order from them. And I've never had anything come back that I didn't really particularly like. So I know I can order stuff from Chico's, and it's going to be okay. But all these different places that, um, I feel like, you know, I don't know how you all feel about it, but I know they say that that's the way to go these days, is order it online. Because you know what I don't like? Is if I get something, and it does not work to have to send it back. You know, that gripes me. I, I just can't deal with it. I have a real hard time with that. So, I bought me ordering a whole lot of stuff. Now, Tanya does a lot of ordering online. I think she ordered through Amazon. And uh, a lot of people do that. I mean, that's just the way they get billions and billions of dollars worth of so stuff. I hope you're getting your shopping done. Just don't be like me and get behind and not be able to get it done. Yep, just go ahead, y'all, now. And uh, tomorrow is Saturday. Okay, by next weekend, it'll be like the 15th. And then we only have like uh, less than two weeks. So we got to get it done, y'all. All right, next thing I want to do is go ahead and put the rice in, into this little baking dish. Just like this. Ooh, it's really hot, y'all. Put it right in there. And I'm going to get this uh, sauce ready. And when I get it ready, I'm going to pour it right on top of the rice. Or before I pour it right on top of the rice, I'm going to lay the chicken on top of the rice. And then it's going to go in the oven for about 20 or 30 minutes just for it to heat all the way through. Be like a little chicken and rice casserole. I always like that, that one. So, I think I can go ahead and do that. I'm trying to heat down on the oven. Okay, remember this is a cup and a half of rice cooked by the, according to the direction. And I'm just going to take start taking this chicken. I need to move some things out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way. Okay, let's get that camera right there. And all I'm going to do with this chicken is stir these onions right there for a minute. I got to get me a little bit of seasoning on there. I'm not going to put a lot on there because it's going to be part of the. Not start putting on there yet. I'm just going to lay these pieces of chicken. That's breast meat. I've taken the skin off of most of it. Because I might eat a little piece of chicken. So I'm just going to take this chicken and lay it right in there like that. So lay. Okay. Got all that laid on there like that. So as you can see, I got my chicken all on there. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and start putting my sauce together. Now, in this sauce, I am going to use some lemon pepper seasoning and some fresh lemon juice and uh, some garlic powder. And there's a little bit of broth left from that chicken. And I'll pour it in there. Go ahead and do that with it. Okay. And it's starting. I want to get, let's see, this is, uh, this is Freedom Choice again, this is lemon pepper seasoning. I'm just going to put a, uh, a good tablespoon in there, I don't need any salt because I'm using a, a tablespoon for it. And what I'm going to do is, I need about a cup and a half of broth, and I'm going to put me a little bit of uh, complete seasoning in there. Just dump everything in there. I'm going to pour about a good cup and a half of water. Okay. I'm going 
gonna bring that to a boil, and when it boils up really good, I'm gonna uh, get it, make sure it's seasoned good. I'm gonna pour that juice right over top of there. Remember, I told you I had a little bit of that was what was in the bottom of the pan for where we did the uh, where we took the chicken from, rather. So that was just some some more goodie. We're not gonna let any goodie get past us. Okay, so, now, this is going to be called lemon pepper chicken and rice, and it is so simple to make, y'all, especially if you already got you a, a chicken. Uh, I was answering somebody's mail, and I'm trying, I believe it was Nadja. Hey, Nadja. She's a brand new uh, up-and-coming chef. She wants to learn how to cook. And she asked me for some quick and easy things to do. This is quick and easy. Get you some rice going. Have you uh, go to the uh, whatever store you like, a uh, Food Lion, or if you got a Sam's Club, they, Sam's Club, but hands down to me, make the best rotisserie chicken. I'm telling you, I, I just can't say enough about Sam's Club rotisserie chicken. Get you one of those chicken, rotisserie chicken. You can do chicken salad with it. You can do a dish like this. You can do barbecue chicken. You can do chicken casserole. You, I mean, the list is endless. Okay, also, I'm going to put me a uh, half a teaspoon of... Why am I measuring this in here? I don't know. Anyway, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder into my mixture there. I've got to get a fresh lemon. Okay, you know sometimes how when you open a lemon, lemons will get bitter on you. So I'm going to have to get a, another one. I had opened one last night and thought it was going to keep for me, but it did not. So, let's get us a fresh lemon. Okay, my uh, broth is, or my uh, sauce is boiling. I've got the juice of half a lemon. That's a lot of lemon juice. I'm just going to put about half of that. I don't want to get too tart because when it gets too tart, then it's hard to season. I have to keep adding more water. And... Let's see. So I've got a half, a fourth of a, a lemon juice from about a fourth of a lemon in there. Okay. To take the whole thing. Just want to make sure we don't overpower it with the lemon, okay? Don't want to overpower. And also, when you cook the rice, cook it al dente because I'm going to put it into, into the oven at 375 for about uh, maybe about 30 minutes because I want everything to cook all the way through. So this needs to cook. I'm going to thicken it a little bit and when I uh, get that done, I'm just going to pour it over and pop it into the oven. I found my gold mountain season. So I put just a teaspoon of that and I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of black pepper in there. And uh, what I'm looking for um, a little bit of I like a little bit of portrait seasoning in there. About an eighth of a teaspoon of portrait seasoning. So I want this broth going over that. And then I want just about another eighth of a teaspoon of um, oregano leaves. I'm just adding because I like, I, I just like the, mm, I don't know what you call it, that, that flavor that um, somebody asked me today what did uh, turmeric taste like turmeric to me is similar to curry um, and when I use turmeric and I put turmeric in my coffee and my tea as well when I use it eat it drink it especially if I drink it in tea when it goes in it feels very refreshing it seems like it, it opens up and feels refreshing inside and when you just sort of smell of it it just it has this oh my goodness it's this, this this aroma this taste that is just immeasurable okay so i'm gonna put my turmeric in there as well 
about a half a teaspoon of turmeric is going to go in there. Stir that in. Now, you know that's nothing but pure goodness. Purely, purely goodness. Okay, so, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put a little, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, thicken it a little bit. So, I'll be right back. Let me make me some thickness. Okay, what I did is just mix a tablespoon of flour with about a couple of tablespoons of, about three tablespoons of water. And I'm going to pour that in there. And it's, I think that that should do as much as I need for it to do as far as thickness. I don't want it to be real thick. I just, I don't want watery skin. So let that boil. So I about like that. And that's ready to go. I mean, that this is just easy. It's a good hearty uh, meal for, you know, for a half a chicken. Should feed two or three people. Um, if you want to do a whole chicken the same way, the same process. But it, just to show you some of the good, good good stuff that you can make out of just something simple. Things that you already got sitting around the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of that in there. I think that's going to be fine. Okay. Not to worry if you have a few little bumps in there. They, as it cooks, it'll cook right out. Just get all that goodie out of there. And believe you me, This is going to be yummy, y'all. Yummy. I didn't have any um, bell peppers put in, but I, I do still have some, some of those peppers that I had from some salted peppers and onions that I already had done. So, that'll be that little bit. You know, I'm so shocked that I don't have any celery in my uh, refrigerator, but we'll be okay without it. Okay. Now, that's a little piece of dark bird up no it's not that's a piece of spinach in there how is okay spinach piece of spinach in there we're eating that piece right there and since we got one i'll eat it mm. oh god i didn't eat it off the spoon y'all just took it off with my hand um which i had a whole bunch of that to go in there Well, it was on. It was in with the uh, mm -hmm. yum yum. That's good. Um, I think I got enough of lemon. Ooh, there's enough lemon flavor in there. Like I said, I don't want to get it too too tart. This is gonna be so good, y'all. So, so, so good. Okay. So now, oh, my oven, I didn't turn it on. What in the world is going on here, girl? Start. Okay. I didn't hit the start button. I have another dash of garlic powder in there. Got another uh, eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So all together. Let's just say, go ahead and put your teaspoon of garlic powder in there. You know, last night I almost bought a whole bag of garlic. I guess I do need to just go on and buy some garlic. But what I do have, y'all, I've got some minced garlic. Hang on. I found that. I knew I had minced garlic. Okay. Minced garlic is, I saw, you know, of course, it's obviously it's garlic that's minced up like this. So, 
and it'll add you give, give that little extra extra flavor extra flavor and I'm going to put a cup another tablespoon of this is olive oil I just love that olive oil flavor about a tablespoon of that in there just to give we're talking flavor now I'd like to say uh, health wise it's not unhealthy seasonings there's a, a salt content in here but this is not my meal it's not overly salty but it's really good so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and pour this right on top like so are y'all seeing this well let's get it right there okay there we go just make sure now tell me tell me if you think how good you think that's going to be so what I want to do is like I say it's going to go into the microwave not in the microwave it's going to go into my convection oven and we're going to let it just sort of cook there so all of that seasoning will go down into your meat and into your rice okay all right so i think we got the makers i think i need a little bit more on that side okay so here we go y'all i got the oven set on 375 and i'm gonna be putting it in for um 30 minutes i'm not gonna cover it i'm just gonna leave it off leave the lid off for now and then when i bring it out i'll cover it and let it sit and rest okay so let's go ahead well it's not 350 yet, 375 yet so this is going to 375 for 30 We'll put 30, 35 minutes. We'll see what it looks like at the end of 30 minutes. So there it is, y'all. A nice Friday evening uh, meal. You eat it with a salad. You can eat it just like it is. Because I wasn't supposed to be cooking tonight, uh, there's some salad already chopped in the fridge, and I'm going to let Kareem go for it. So, uh, Naja, I think, hope I'm saying your name right. That's a nice, quick meal, dear. If uh, you don't want to do a lot of cooking, and you uh, want to do something real good and tasty. Um, and I, I said to her, so I'll share it with you all. So anybody else that's listening, if you just start out, just make sure that you have your basic pots and pans, your measuring spoons, measuring cups, and what I say, pots, pans. So you need, a, you need two boilers. You need a small boiler, and you're going to need a large boiler. Uh, you know, three quart one, and maybe a one half and a two quart boiler. You're gonna need a, a nice large skillet and a medium sized skillet for omelets or for sauteing or whatever. And then you need a couple of roasting pans and, like I said, the measuring cups, measuring spoons. You need the basic tools to get started with cooking. You need you a spatula. You're gonna need you, uh, yeah, a spatula and uh, some nice sized cooking spoons and a sharp knife, y'all. And as far as uh, what you're cooking, a good recipe and your basic ingredients. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion, powder, uh, some chicken bouillon seasoning, some beef bouillon seasoning. Um, if you like, if you want to use complete seasoning, you may do that. That's on you. Uh, turmeric. The, the, now, those ones were the ones that have salt additives. Your turmeric, your curry, uh, oregano, basil. Black pepper have no salt content, so those are all about um, uh, flavoring. And of course, you know, everybody uses Texas Pete these days on everything, almost. And then, uh, just kind of start from there. Start out with basic stuff, and you will find out that you will just love, love, love cooking if you get it right when you cook. Because a lot of people get discouraged about cooking when it doesn't come out right. So just take your time. Uh, if it doesn't come out quite like you want to, want it to, just, you know, do it again another time. But usually, it, it's going to be okay. It might take you a few tries, but it's going to be okay. Just start with some basic things to cook. So, 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken, uh, lemon pepper chicken and rice casserole into the oven so it can get to moving and Kareem can get in here and eat him some food. So hold on just a minute and I'll be back shortly. Okay, y'all, there it is. All done and ready to eat. That is my lemon pepper chicken and rice casserole. So we're ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for tuning. Okay, y'all, as I was saying, the meal is ready. It looks so pretty. That is the prettiest golden color. And, of course, uh, it smells wonderful. And I know it's going to taste just as good. So, listen, you guys, as usual, thank you all for tuning in. And thank you always for standing in the gap and pray, joining hands and praying with me. For the prayers of the righteous avail of much. And as you know, we have much to pray about. So, thanks again for tuning in. Love you guys. Thank you for your comments, compliments, and encouragement. And until I decide to cook again, y'all keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Until I cook again now, I love you guys. Toodaloo.